Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you some swatches of a little mini lipstick haul that I picked up from Dose of Colors. So if you like swatch videos, go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing because I do swatches and tutorials and other beauty related videos here on my channel every Saturday. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. If you've been here before, you know that I did a massive lipstick declutter and I wasn't going to keep buying lip products and all of that, yada, yada, yada. Well, dose of colors. <laughs> Dose of Colors went on ahead and had a buy one get one free sale a couple weeks ago and I couldn't pass it up because weeks before, as you know, you may know if you follow me, um, Dose of Colors makes some of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. So it, they're, they're matte, they, they're comfortable, they, they make nice colors and so I'm always, when they have a sale on their lip products, you know, I'm always checking for them to see if there's something I can pick up for cheap uh, because they're you know they're fairly expensive their liquid lipsticks are like $18 I think which I think is a little pricey so if I can get them um, cheaper than that then I'm, I'm always looking for a sale and so prior to this sale happening I had gone into Ulta it turns out that Dose of Colors is in my local Ulta now you know Dose of Colors is in select Ulta stores. I think they had just about everything except the newest eyeshadow palettes, but they might have had that too. Anyway, I got to swatch the liquid lipsticks and the lipsticks, which was very exciting for me. I really hate buying things online and only being able to judge the colors from the pictures online because quite often you can get something delivered to you and then when you try it, you swatch it, it's not exactly what it appeared on the website. So very excited to see that Dose of Colors is in my Ulta. And I swatched um, some of their lip products and there were two liquid lipsticks that I knew I wanted and one day I was going to have to have them. And then lo and behold, it was like Dose of Colors and the universe was reading my mind and they did their buy one get one free sale. So I ended up buying six lip products not a whole lot just six and I didn't um, I didn't plan this but I ended up buying a little bit of everything I bought two liquid lipsticks two of their regular bullet lipsticks and then two of their new lip gloss formulas I bought one of their I have one of their old lip glosses on the old formula that I think I actually decluttered <laughs> um, because that formula I did not like <clears throat> It was more like a liquefied lipstick, not a lip gloss at all. And the color that I got was just too bright and I was never gonna wear, so. At least now with Dose of Colors inside of Ulta, if I get something I don't like it, I can take it back, which is very exciting. <laughs> Let's talk about the packaging first. This is the packaging for the liquid lipsticks. And it's very pretty. It's got the colors and the names of the lipsticks in, uh, on the ends of it, which is nice. And these are the same things. They're all very consistent. The outer packaging is all consistent. And then the packaging for all the different um, products is also consistent. And I really like the Dose of Colors packaging. I like the white. Um, the liquid lipsticks come in frosted plastic so you can see the colors of it in size it's got the dose there and they're frosted and then the lip glosses come in the clear plastic and you can see the colors in there too so very consistent and then the lipsticks the bullet lipsticks come in this packaging and I really like that it is clear at the bottom so you can see the color of the lipstick without having to open it and I like to store mine upside down so then I can see the color before I pick it up which is really nice um, this though 
the tops it does this packaging on the bullet lipsticks does feel cheap and I do get concerned that the top is going to come off. I've been carrying it there a little loose. I've been carrying it around, around in my bag. And I haven't had any incidents yet. <laughs> but they still make me nervous. So let's go with the liquid lipsticks first. Um, Dose of Colors did this lipstick in Extra Saucy a long time ago. <laughs> and it is just this beautiful red and oh my gosh I knew from the moment I saw it that I had to have it not like I need another red lipstick but you know here we go I can say that about all lipsticks right um, but I think they had only sold it in a trio and a set and I didn't want the whole trio I just wanted this lipstick right here and I even went on their Instagram page and I was like please 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 release this extra saucy um, lipstick in, in, in a single please and I don't know if they heard me <laughs> but they did which was very exciting and this is it right here that is extra saucy and it is just so so gorgeous it's like a deep red it's oh, so beautiful and I can't wait to wear it <laughs> and then another color that I bought that I didn't know that I wanted until I swatched it in store and this is the color purple rain and it's this beautiful purple lilac color that I have fallen in love with this is purple rain now purple rain I just love love this color lilac when I look for a purple I'm looking for like a specific type of purple and I don't always find it but when I saw this and this one scared me a little bit because it might be a little too bright for me but when I finally got it here and I swatched it on my lips it is absolutely gorgeous and it does remind me of another lilac that I have unusual lilac color that I have and it's from colored rain and this is their sweet rain liquid lipstick and I thought I would just swatch them um, side by side and they are similar but not really the colored rain is a little more blue than the dose of colors that's dose of colors rain fever and this is colored rain sweet rain and both of those colors are going to look good with this new NYX color um, this new NYX lip liner that I just purchased so this is the NYX suede matte lip liner in the color amethyst and as you can see it goes pretty perfectly with the colored rain shadow um, lipstick but it's also going to go very well with that dose of colors as well so I'm really looking forward to wearing them all together like one happy family <laughs> okay next up are the lipsticks I bought two of their lip I bought two of their lipsticks <laughs> And one is the color Fig and the other is Ditto. And this is what they look like. So the lighter color is Ditto and the darker color is Fig. And Fig is a darker, deeper mauve, mauve shade and Ditto, the lighter color, is a more mauve beige nude shade. This is Ditto and this is Fig. And they're kind of in the same family. Um, this one is a little light on me, a little too light for my liking, a little ashy. Um, I do pair it with my chestnut brown lip liner to tone it down a little bit and um, I'll usually throw a gloss on top of it, a pinky tone, pinky tone, a pinky tone gloss. And then this is Fig, which um, is really pretty, I really like. I've discovered that I like mauve plum shades. I did not know that about me, but yeah, apparently I do. Next up now are the lip glosses. And these are the new formula lip glosses. They reformulated their lip glosses, and they needed to because their original formula was just like not a gloss at all. And so these are in the shades Messy Bun, this is Messy Bun and this is Jazzy. Now Jazzy I remember looking at online and thought it was gorgeous. Let me show you what it looks like in the tube. 
I don't know if you can see it that well with my lights reflecting off of it but I don't I don't like it I, I may be able to try to figure out a way to wear it but right now I don't like it this is jazzy right a gorgeous beautiful champagne um, like beige with a lot of sparkle and then this is messy bun which is there we go again with that pinky mauve shade <laughs> and the jazzy on my lips it just looks so there's so much like glitter in here it's just too much when I swatched it on my lips it's just all like glitter it's like frosty glitter like 1960s going to the disco with frost lipstick on it's just it's awful <laughs> um I'm gonna have to try and figure out a way to tone it down maybe try to put another gloss on top of it I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that yet but that one I don't like and this one the messy bun it's a little pink actually it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now and it's not too bad by itself it's not bad at all and I have it paired with my chestnut lip liner so it's pretty it's a little more pink maybe but than I was really wanting but it's pretty I found that a lot of these lip glosses today including this one they're so opaque like um, back in the day lip glosses if I remember correctly and I've been around a long time <laughs> Back in the day, lip glosses used to be a lot more sheer, where you could wear them on your lips by themselves and you just have a little hint of color and a lot of gloss. And um, Or you could wear them on top of a lipstick and you could still see your lipstick underneath it, but you have this beautiful glossy gloss on top of it. And now it seems like a lot of the formulas, not all of them, but a lot of brands are doing formulas of lip glosses that are really opaque to, the, to wear. You can wear them by themselves and you look you look like you're wearing a lipstick with a clear lip gloss on top of it. They're so opaque. And but I don't know how much I like that. I don't always like that because I like wearing them over my lipsticks as well, but like this one is so opaque that when I put it over my lipstick, you can't see the lipstick at all. All you see <laughs> is this um lip gloss. And I first put it on. I first actually tried it with both of the lipsticks with the ditto which was a little light so I thought I would throw this pinky on um, lip gloss on top and you know all I saw was the lip gloss and the same thing with the fig it's just I and this is a darker lipstick and I put this over it all I see is the pink lip gloss so I like it sometimes I guess I don't like it all the time and I guess for me it's important to just keep buying different types of lip gloss formulas because I find that I like them both. So that's my little lipstick haul. Right now of the six that I got, I really like like three of them. <laughs> the colored, uh, the liquid lipsticks and then the, the fig lipstick and that's it. Like the glosses I'm not crazy about just yet. So I figured those were my free ones. <laughs> So no harm, no foul. <laughs> uh, I got three for the price of, I got six for the price of three. So I'm really not complaining. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing because I do swatches and the like here on my channel every Saturday. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.